Hello, I'm Dr. Yuling Li, an education professor, and in this video we'll discuss David Kolb's theory of experiential learning. We'll explore how his research is helpful for teaching and learning in the classroom, and links to his research is included in the video description. David Kolb is an American educational theorist and the Emeritus Professor of Organizational Behavior at Case Western Reserve University. In the early 1970s, Kolb and Ron Fry developed the experiential learning model. For Kolb, quote, learning is a process whereby knowledge is created through the transformation of experience. According to Kolb, we learn best through a cyclical process of experiencing, reflecting, thinking, and acting. This process involves four stages, concrete experience, reflective observation, abstract conceptualization, and active experimentation. Let's break down each stage. The first stage, concrete experience, involves direct engagement with the world through real life experiences. This could be anything from conducting experiments to participating in group activities. The second stage, reflective observation, encourages us to reflect on our experiences and examine them from different perspectives. We analyze the meaning and significance of these experiences and explore what worked well and what didn't. The third stage, abstract conceptualization, is where we begin to make sense of our experiences by forming abstract concepts and generalizations. We connect our experiences to existing knowledge frameworks and theories, seeking patterns and principles. Finally, we move to the fourth stage, active experimentation. This stage involves applying our newly acquired knowledge and theories to real-world situations. We test our ideas, take risks, and learn from the outcomes. Now that we have a solid understanding of Kolb's theory, let's turn our attention to the critiques it has faced. Some scholars have argued that Kolb's theory oversimplifies the complexity of learning and places too much emphasis on personal experience. They claim that the theory doesn't adequately address social and cultural factors that influence learning. However, it's important to note that these critiques do not necessarily invalidate Kolb's theory. While it may have limitations, his model provides a valuable framework for understanding the learning process and has been widely applied in various fields. Now let's explore three practical applications of Kolb's theory in the classroom setting. Application one, teachers can design hands-on activities and real-world experiences that allow students to engage with the subject matter directly. This helps foster concrete experiences and encourages active participation. Application two, Encouraging reflective practices such as journaling or group discussions help students process their experiences and develop a deeper understanding of the material. Reflective observation supports critical thinking and self-awareness. Application 3. Integrating abstract concepts and theories into classroom discussions and assignments helps students connect their experiences to broader frameworks of knowledge. It facilitates abstract conceptualization and enhances their ability to analyze and synthesize information. By implementing these applications, educators can create a rich and dynamic learning environment that aligns with Kolb's theory of experiential learning. And that's a wrap. Today we explored David Kolb's theory of experiential learning, discussed some critiques and discovered practical applications for the classroom. Remember, learning is a continuous cycle of experiencing, reflecting, thinking, and acting. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.